hmm. my stream deck is broken so it took me a while to start is obs update kia and then for some reason everything broke like my my stream wasn't starting hi hamza hi tequila so yeah that happened no my stream deck won't work which is annoying me oh well why him i can fix her hi saibo क्या हो रहा है भाई इसको केरियर डजन नीड फिक्सिंग नाम अच्छा है बस आप दियो आई फिगर दिस लेटर हाय श्रीष्टि केरियर कैन फिक्स मी I think only Kiryu can fix me. I'm all right. How are you? तुम टेस्ट में क्यों सो गए थे? What is wrong with you? ऐसे कौन करता है? हाँ? कुछ आया ही नहीं वाओ मैं मैं लाइफ में सिर्फ एक ही एग्जाम में सोई हूँ मेरे ए लेवल्स की इंग्लिश की एग्जाम थी उसमें मैं सोई थी इट वाज लाइक टू एंड हाफ आर एग्जाम बट आई स्लेप फॉर एन आर बिकॉज द नाइट बिफोर दैट आई स्टेड अप टिल मॉर्निंग प्लेइंग रून स्केप ऑफ कोर्स आई शुड हैव डन दैट बट आई वाज लाइक जस्ट up till i don't know like 6 or something playing runescape and then i had to wake up at 7 so i can get to like my school that was the only time like i actually fell asleep while writing an exam yeah it's fine and that was like not a test also that was like an exam exam but i still did well cuz english was like a subject i was decent at so there was no issue बढ़िया बहुत गंदी नींद आई थी तब तो एनी वे वॉस अब गाइज हाउज अ गोविंग हाउ यू गाइज बिन मैं दो दिन स्ट्रीम नहीं किया ऐसा लग रहा है कि महीने बाद आ रही हूँ बट आई वॉज लाइक जस्ट मेकिंग माई रिव्यू वीडियोज दो ख़त्म कर दिए दो अभी भी बाकी है और एक स्क्रिप्ट लिखनी है My idea is to basically finish my backlog before I start a game, just come a review banas ne wali ho. So now my plan is that every time I finish a game, I'll take one day off and finish the review on that day itself. That way I won't create any backlog at all. फिर वो game एक दिन में ख़तम करूँ या पाँच दिन में ख़तम करूँ. I will take a day off after I finish a game, just so I can get done with the review stuff for it. बिकॉज अभी ये बैकलॉग आ रहा है ना तो फिर लाइक इट इट बिकम्स टू टफ फॉर मी टू डील विद इट बिकॉज वो थोड़ा इट बिकम्स वेरी ओवरवेलमिंग फॉर मी एंड ड्रैगन्स डॉग मा के स्क्रिप्ट इज टेकिंग अ वाइल बिकॉज आई डू वॉन्ट इट टू बी लाइक स्लाइटली मोर डिटेल्ड एंड देर इज सो मच टॉक अबाउट इन ड्रैगन्स डॉग मा टू देर सो मच 
so i'm just trying to probably will be playing like shorter games the next few days so i can get done with it and then i want to start um yakuza again so we've done yakuza 0 so now we'll play the next yakuza like the first yakuza i forgot what it's called but that one we'll play cuz i kind of miss kiryu the cute kiryu <laughs> But anyway, let me start this game. <laughs> I would love to play it, but it's coming out in May, so hopefully I can buy it when May gets here. Sorry, गलत स्क्रीन आ गया. Sorry, stream end नहीं हो रही है. Stream deck नहीं है ना तो फिर थोड़ा वो issue होगा. वन सेकेंड ओके मेरे को ये ना थोड़ा लेसन इट वॉज एन एक्सीडेंट whatever horrors you may find in these dark spaces have heart and see them through there are no premature endings there are no wrong decisions there are only fresh perspectives and new beginnings this is a love story now this game does have multiple endings and every single decision you make is going to like change stuff so we are going to like probably do a lot maybe maybe not we'll see how it goes िटी एन ऑल कंट्रोल एडवांस डायलॉग्स Yes, we need this. Why would anyone skip dialogues in a visual novel? It is a visual novel. Yes, it's there's no gameplay to it, guys. This is purely story. Can you hear the audio fine? Hi, Sharath. म्यूजिक ऐसे क्यों चेंज हो गया या एंड एवरी वन हैज रेकमेंडेड सो आई डिड नॉट रीड अबाउट दिस गेम एट ऑल कुछ भी नहीं पता मेरे को बिकॉज पीपल सेड प्ले इट कंप्लीटली ब्लाइंड सो वो सी हाउ इट गोज दैट सेज द प्रिंसेस शुड आई मूव माई कैमरा ऑन अ पाथ इन द वुड्स एंड एट द एंड ऑफ दैट पाथ is a cabin and in the basement of that cabin is a princess you're here to slay her if you don't it will be the end of the world oh it's like this wait i need to move this then sorry ek second ah Is this type of thing? वो पूरा proper पता है text based RPGs थी बहुत पहले. Is one of those I believe. मैं यहाँ पे कर देती हूँ so we can read. The end of the world. What are you talking about? Have you considered that maybe the only reason she's going to end the world is because she's locked up? Killing a princess kind of seems bad though, doesn't it? Can't someone else do it? Forget. Oh my God! Look at the options, dude. Forget it. I'm not doing this. Have you considered that maybe I'm okay with the world ending? Do I get some sort of reward for doing this? Okay, thanks for telling me what to do. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, which one do we pick? I think I'm gonna go with this one. 
Have you considered that maybe I'm okay with the world ending? Of course I haven't. Why would I even consider that? Nobody wants the world to end. I mean, maybe some people do, like nihilists or very, very evil people, but surely you're not one of those, right? Oh, okay, more dialogues. Now we will do this one. Does it? Are you a monarchist? Is slaying a princess that much worse than slaying a fisherman or a miller or a seamstress? If anything, slaying a princess is much better than slaying a seamstress. Seamstresses contribute something of value <laughs> to guys. society. <laughs> While I appreciate the mental exercise, we are running up against a bit of a ticking clock. Nevertheless, let me assure you, the princess is locked up because she's dangerous. She is not dangerous because she's locked up. I can fix her. <laughs> and before you decide to waste even more of our time by asking how I know that, let me suggest a more pragmatic lens through which to view this situation. Causality doesn't matter here, because the end result is the same no matter what led us up to this point. If the princess leaves the cabin, the world will end, and there is no changing that. It's no use arguing semantics over a metaphorical chicken or egg, because the egg is hatched and it's about to ruin everything. Unless, of course, you do your job and slay her. I'm talking about the end of everything as we know it. No more birds, no more trees, and perhaps most problematically of all, no more people. You have to put an Camera end to Camera or badal do, like top left pe rakh do. Don't linger on the specifics. You have a job to do here. <laughs> Just get in there and do what needs to be done. We're all counting on you. Hey, ye log na me ko kyu marwa rahe nahi karna? Look, you're already on the path that leads to the cabin. Why would you be here if it weren't to complete a very important task? You've made it this far, you might as well reach the end of your journey. Cheating karwa rahe log. Look, I'll go talk to the cabin. I'll go to the cabin. I'll go talk to the cabin. <laughs> I'll talk to her and if she's as bad as you say she is, then maybe I'll slay her. But I'm not committing to anything unless I've had the chance to meet her face to face. Then I guess we'll just have to see what happens. But a word of warning. If you go in prepared to hear her out, she could easily trap you in her web of lies. And the more you listen to her honeyed words, the harder it'll be to pull yourself out. Then each and every one of us is doomed. So sure, go talk to her. See how that turns out for all of us. You make your way up the short path to the cabin. You'll find the princess within. We're not going to go through with this, right? She's a princess. We're supposed to save princesses, not slay them. Ignore him. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Beautiful art style. The interior of the cabin is almost entirely bare. The air is stale and musty, and the floor and walls are painted in a fine layer of dust. The only furniture of note is a plain wooden table. Perched on that table is a pristine blade. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. You take the blade from the table. It'd be rather difficult to slay the princess and save the world without it. The door to the basement creaks open, revealing a staircase faintly illuminated by an unseen light in the room below. This is an oppressive place. The air feels heavy and damp, a hint of rot filtering from the ancient wood. If the princess really lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. Her voice carries up the stairs. Who's there? This is GTA 6. Damn. She sounds dangerous. 
It's almost as if she's the one in charge down here. Why is up the hero? Don't let it fool you. It's all part of the manipulation. Okay. Hi, just checking in on you. Hey, I think I'm here to kill you. Which one do we pick? Hi, Drawn. Yeah, they kind of ran out of money. Let's say hi, Don't at least. Don't be a stranger. It's been so long since I've had any visitors. Come on down. Bro, where do I fucking put my camera? <laughs> we'll just go with our original, okay? This is annoying me. I will read out all the stuff. Yeah, remember the few years over here? No, the game is called Slay the Princess. But I can fix her. We'll just leave it here, fuck it. You walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. There's a heavy chain around her wrist, binding her to the far wall. It's a visual novel. She's so coldly beautiful. Is she really a threat to the world? Focus on the task at hand. And there you are. Are you here to kill me or something? Hmm. Okay. What? No way. Why would you even think that? Okay, yeah. You caught me. I'm here to slay you. <laughs> no. Uh, uh. I haven't decided yet. I'm just here to talk. Which one? I don't know. I like all of them. <laughs> I'm gonna then go with that. Knife. We should. It'll go a long way to building trust with her. No, I went with the nut. Uh, uh. <laughs> Don't you dare. It's fine. We can decide what we want to do after we talk to her. Maybe she really is a monster. Killing someone in cold blood isn't very becoming of us. The blade tumbles out of your trembling hands and drops to the floor with an unceremonious clap. Thank you. Maybe now we can just... talk. Against your better judgement, you step forward to speak with the princess face to face. Unarmed. Is she gonna kill me? <laughs> we'll be fine. I don't know what you're hoping to accomplish here, but I can assure you there's no reasoning with her. <sighs> Just make sure you don't forget about the blade on the floor. You're going to need it. So here we are. What an itchy. awkward start to a relationship. Yeah, it's pretty awkward. A relationship? Are you coming on to me? <laughs> How would I get you out of here? I'm here because you're supposed to end the world. There's people out there who think you're gonna end the world. What do you have to say about that? What's her name? How long have you been down here? Do you know why I'm here to kill you? I think we're gonna go with... Um, her name. She hesitates before answering. You can address me as your royal highness. Or her majesty. Any honorific should do, really. Note the lack of detail. You can't trust her. Okay, she won't tell me her name. I'm gonna ask her if I if she knows why I have to kill her. Do you? Oh, kaise hai bhai ye? You're apparently going to end the world. I know what I've been told. Whether or not I believe it is entirely a different matter. Or we can lie to her and say no. Don't just tell her that. <laughs> is that why they threw me down here? But I don't want to hurt anyone. I like the world. 
I think. I don't remember much about it, to be honest. I've been down here a long time. Just how long has she been down here? If I'm supposed to be capable of ending the world, then how did I wind up here, chained to a wall? Have they told you why I'm allegedly so... dangerous? I'm very creepy. Deflect. What are you going to do if I let you out of here? I've been told enough. I was hoping you'd tell me. No, but I'm sure they have their reasons for keeping that information secret from me. No, and if I'm going to be... If I'm being honest, I'm more inclined to trust you than I'm inclined to trust them or we remain silent. Ending the world seems like an awful lot for just one person to do. I wouldn't even know where to start. But the two of us could do it. I believe her. She doesn't have to know how to destroy the world to be capable. I'll destroy the world for her. At the end of the day, Whatever the two of us have going on down here is about trust. Whoever sent you to slay me claimed I was a threat to the world, but they didn't tell you why. That doesn't sound right to me. And I don't think it sounds right to you either. Otherwise, we'd be killing each other instead of talking. She has a point. There's a reason I've been telling you to question the situation, and there's a reason you've listened. So, the music I is tell so you creepy. that I'd lead a quiet life in the woods, or that I'd open an orphanage, or that I'd do any other number of good things that I'm sure you think you want to hear. But you don't really know me, do you? What can my word possibly be worth in a situation like this? She's right about one thing. Her word isn't worth anything. Like I said, it's all about trust. Blind trust. So do you trust me, the prisoner, the victim, the princess clearly incapable of ending the world? Or do you trust whoever put me here? She's wrong. This isn't about trust. This is about risk. We stand to lose everything. All for the sake of one person, and a subjugating monarch, no less. Don't jump to any weird conclusions. We're two people who have met each other. By definition, we have a relationship. You can't. Don't bother. I'm guessing you don't have the key then. I'm sure there's a key somewhere around here, and if there isn't... Huh. We can always put that knife to good use. Her sharp eyes settle on the edge of the blade. She isn't suggesting what I think she's suggesting. She is. I'm sure of it. Do we cut her hand? Oh, have you decided what to do with me? You know why you're here. Hmm, okay, we can either slay her, I'm getting you out of here, I'm going to keep you locked away down at least for a bit, we can get to know each other better. Kya kare? This, you guys will decide. Do we slay her, get her out, or keep her locked and talk, or whatever? Let's talk. That seems like a pretty good compromise. Leaving her alive is too risky. If you don't deal with her soon, she will find a Let's way. Let's get manipulated even more. 
One way or another, I'm going to find a way you out. You see of how here. the text also you just can make changed? it easier for both of us if you help. And if you don't, I can promise that you'll come to regret that decision. I love you. You have to make a choice. Let's hope for all our sakes it's the right one. think this is a fair compromise, but it isn't. No one wins here. It's a chance we'll have to take. We can make this work. If we just stay here and keep watch, no one has to die. You're making a mistake. You turn your back to the princess and make your way to the stairs. It won't be long before I slip these chains. And once I'm out of here, there will be hell to pay for leaving me behind. Slip these chains. She can't, right? She needed our help to get out of here. But do you hear the conviction in her voice? I don't think she's bluffing. Either way, she dropped her mask, didn't she? You can still turn around and finish the job. Be the death of all of us, but fine. I mean, we can we, we will way. do like different playthroughs, even if it ends badly, because this is you the kind the of basement game. Door, locking it behind you and quickly barricading it with the heavy wooden table that once held the blade. We left the blade meter. Okay, we can make this work. You know, I've never really come across a game where it is like every you single dialogue has like a different the basement thing door. going on. It isn't long before you start to drift off, your eyelids heavy with fatigue. Hi, Taku. But sleep doesn't come. Instead, your rest is broken by a piercing, wailing voice calling out to you from the other side of the door. I know you're still there. Why don't you make things easier on yourself and let me out? It's not like this little door will hold for very long anyways. Huh? It's probably a good idea to try to get back on my good side. Excuse me, hello? <laughs> she sounds terrifying. Like she's less of the princess you saw and more like something out of a nightmare. As she violently rattles the door, you do your best to shut her out of your mind. When I get out of here, I'm going to pick you apart piece by piece. I won't forget what you did, and I'll never forgive it. You don't know the kind of enemy you've made tonight. It doesn't sound like she's getting any weaker. Oh god, what have we done? No, it doesn't. Threaten me all you want. So all of this was just the act, you're really innocent, you're a monster, ignore her and go to sleep. I think I'm gonna I do the second one. Harmless, if you wanna be. Teasing me with fresh air and a chance to finally live freely doesn't inspire me to play nice. You put the princess's threats out of your mind as best you can and huddle up against the wall. Hi, Electro. You jolt awake in the middle of the night to silence in the cabin. The ruckus has stopped. Oh, shit. And the door to the basement oh, shit. is ajar. <laughs> it's lock broken oh, and the shit. table shoved out of the way. Where is she? Thanks for helping me get out of that awful basement. You try and stumble to your feet, but as the princess draws near, it's as though your body simply stops working. It isn't all at once. The paralysis comes in waves. First your toes go numb, and then your feet, and then your legs. You lie prone on the floor of the cabin, unable to do anything but witness her approach. Whose side are you Expecting on? Expecting better, Ward. Yours, of course. But I have a duty to uphold the truth. 
lying about the facts of the situation doesn't change them. So helpless. I can take my time with you, can't I? She steps closer, one silent <laughs> footfall at a time, cocking her head in curiosity as you feel your organs shutting down one by one. Or maybe I can't take my time with you. You don't look well. A little green around the gills. What a shame. If you'd only help me get out of here, we could have done such wonderful things together. Your lungs stop drawing in breath. The rating is very good. Your heart is one of. In your I really chest. enjoyed this game, even you though I've only played it what like half an hour. I'd say better luck next time. But we both know this is the end, don't we? It can't be. This can't actually be how everything ends. I'm sorry, but it is. Everything goes dark. Oopsie. And you die. Oh! Oh. You're on a path in the woods, and at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. You're here to slay her. If Chapter you don't, two. Eh? It will be the end of the world. Oh, so I think every time we learn, there's like a time loop situation kind of thing. A terrible sense of deja vu. No, you don't have that. This is the first time either of us have been here. If he doesn't remember what happened, I then got maybe it's best to keep it that way. Shh. What if he hears us? Voice of the paranoid. <laughs> That's a very good question, little voice. What if he does hear you? I think there's like a loop. Shit. I think you'll find yourselves very hard pressed to keep any secrets from me. Not that it matters right now, because like I said, this is the first time we've met. Still, I'd rather not get off on the wrong foot. We've a world to save after all. This is more than just deja vu though. I'm pretty sure this whole thing literally happened. Exactly. We could go back and forth on this forever, and it won't get you any closer to doing your job and saving the world. <laughs> so let's just agree to disagree. Let's assume I'm telling the truth and all of this really did happen. Why should I listen to you? Why should I bother doing anything? Those are two very different questions, but fine. I'll indulge you if that's what it takes to get you moving. Let's say for a moment that this really is the second time you've met me, or, or at least a version of me. If you're back here, I'm assuming you died, which probably only happened because you didn't listen to me. We couldn't trust either of you, and as far as I'm concerned, we still can't. All we did was lock her away. And how'd that work out for you? No comment. Well then, congratulations. You've been given another chance to actually do this right. And your solution is to send us back in there. Do you want us to slay the princess, or do you want the princess to slay us? I feel like the narrator is also manipulating Obviously, me. Obviously, I want manipulating you me. to slay her. One of you poses a threat to the world, and the other doesn't. But she went batshit crazy over there. Anyways, I believe your other question was something along the lines of, what's the point of doing anything? If you're asking that, it sounds to me like you're making the rather dangerous assumption that your actions last time around didn't have any consequences. What do you mean? Of course there weren't any consequences. We were killed by the princess, and now everyone's right back where they started. Sounds pretty consequence-free to me. Speak for yourself. From my perspective, there were plenty of consequences. I'm never going to forget the way she just made us stop working. And that's only scratching the surface. If what you said is true, it begs the question of how you got back here. Did time simply rewind itself, or have you found yourself in another world altogether? If it's the latter, what do you think happened after you died? Do you think the people there lived happily ever after? Or do you think that the princess, left unhindered, brought about the end to everyone and everything, just like I told you she would? If she brought an end to everything and everyone, how are we supposed to stop her? What do you want from us? I want you to succeed. You'll find a way. You're the only one who can. I bought my fucking. <laughs> it 
since being around here in the end to shut down all of my organs what the hell am i supposed to do about that to quote you from the last time she's just a princess how can you possibly justify saying that she's clearly something far far worse who locked her in the basement what is this place Don't people ask that. locked her in that basement and i told you what this place is it's a path in the woods don't overcomplicate things She is just a princess. Whatever you think happened to you last time, just get it out of your head before you get to the cabin and you'll be fine. Like I said, if she killed you, it was probably because you didn't listen to me. Don't talk to her, don't trust her, just go in, do your job and save the world. I've told you everything you need to know. Going into more detail will just overcomplicate an otherwise very simple situation and make your job more difficult. If you want us to stand a chance against her, we need to be armed with information. What is she really capable of? How are we supposed to stop her? Not to sound like a broken record, but the less you know about her, the better things will go for all of us. I know it sounds like I'm hiding something, but you're just going to have to take me at my word. He isn't telling us everything he knows because he doesn't trust us, which means that we can't trust him. Stop talking yourself in neurotic circles and just get to the cabin already. No, you should do anything but that. We know what's waiting for us in that basement. If people locked her away, why shouldn't they slay her? Why is this falling on me? Look. Bye, Delta. I'm not supposed to say this, but it's because you're special. You're the only person capable of doing this. Call it a prophecy, if that helps, but it's just the way things are. You can't just goad us into doing something by calling us special. It's manipulative. Why are you trying to manipulate us? I don't know, I kinda like being special. <laughs> okay, fine. Maybe you can goad him into doing something, but he's not even the one who makes the decisions here. I'm not goading you into doing anything. You already know the princess is dangerous. All I'm trying to say is that you have to be the one to deal with her. I know it doesn't seem fair, but that's just the way it is. And for what it's worth, I know you have it in you to finish the job. We don't. You saw what happened to us last time. We need to leave. Great. Now, if you don't mind, the whole hey, world is waiting with do we bated listen breath to? for you to save it from ruin. We can always turn around and leave, but I'm not gonna leave. <laughs> A warning before you go any further. Should we free her this time? She will lie, she will cheat, and she will do everything in her power to stop you from slaying her. Don't believe a word she says. I don't think lying and cheating is a thing. She was very direct with us last time. Or at least she was direct with us after we decided to lock her away. It doesn't matter. Don't trust anyone. The interior of the cabin is plain, the smooth wood of the walls almost featureless. The only furniture of note is a lone See? table. The door's open. The, the corner chairs, of the, room. the table's all tilted. The pristine blade stands Tell between you and the open, inviting basement doorway. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. Hold on. What happened to the door? There was a door here last time. God, I am the voice of paranoia. It's just an empty frame. She's already got now, hasn't she? And she's ready for us. She's been waiting. Can't you feel her eyes on us? I'm going to need all of you to pull yourselves together. The princess has not already gotten out. But if you keep getting stuck in your head like this, you're going to struggle to get the job done. So deep breath in, deep breath out. Your task awaits, and only you can do it. Okay, you didn't say anything about the mirror on the wall. This whole cabin is different than I remember it being. Approach, examine the mirror, and take the plate. I do want to examine the you mirror. walk up to the wall next to the empty basement door frame. It's a wall. There isn't much to see here. What are you talking about? This isn't a wall. It's a mirror. Or at least it'll be a mirror once we wipe off that layer of grime. You reach forward and rub your hand the against the The fuck is wrong with my hand? I hope you know how ridiculous you look right now. 
make it go away. Clearly there was something in there worth investigating if he wants it hidden so bad. Huh? Very different. Mira disappeared! I'm not the only one who sees her in the window, right? Oh, what the fuck is she that? She knows that we're here. Calm down. Maybe the three of you just think everything is different because you haven't been here before. Enough of this past life nonsense. Three of us. Haven't died. He's acknowledging us, okay? He's acknowledging the, the player. So focus up. A lot's riding on this. You reach down and pick the blade up off the floor. It would be difficult to slay the princess and save the world without a weapon. Good. Steel can't lie to us. Is it gonna be enough, though? Couldn't you have given us something else? Something... I don't know. Better than a knife? Could we have a bomb? <laughs> the blade is the only thing you need to finish your task. You're more than capable of pulling this off, so long as you don't lose faith in yourself. Those are the words of someone who knows he's sending us to our death. You cross over the threshold and onto a series of isolated steps blinking. suspended in darkness. More eyes, too. You never mentioned the eyes. The air seeping up from below reminds you of fresh lightning and static, as if you're descending into a place that isn't meant for a creature of flesh and blood. If the princess lives here, slaying her would probably be doing her a favor. Her cruel and playful voice prances up the stairs. Oh, I didn't think you'd come back. We're gonna have a lot of fun, you and I. Okay, we need a game plan. Last time we were here, just being close to her was enough to kill us. How hard is it to throw a knife? I'm going to talk to her. We don't need a plan, I'm just going to kill her. Mr. Narrator seems to think I can do it. I don't know why you're all being such pessimists right now. Step off into the void between the stairs, continue down the stairs in silence. It can't be that hard. But then we'd lose our weapon. We'd have to make it count. Otherwise she'd be furious and we'd be defenseless. If a knife is even enough to do anything against something like her in the first place. It'll be enough. Didn't you hear my warning a minute ago? <laughs> she can't be trusted. Talking won't do you any good. Something tells me she isn't going to be very keen on talking anyway. You make your way to the bottom of the stairs. As you emerge, you find yourself between two loose rows of white wooden planks suspended in nothingness. A smattering of cobblestones visible against the inky black of the basement mark where the floor should be, forming vague pathways. At what seems to be the end of the room, they diverge in opposite directions, left and right. She could be anywhere, and there's nowhere for us to hide. We're completely exposed. Dude, these eyes are creepy as hell. Are you really not going to comment on how weird this place is? No, I'm not. Somebody needs to be the voice of reason here, and it certainly isn't you. Excuse me, I'm being incredibly reasonable. You're the one who's just matter-of-factly describing whatever the hell we're looking at like it's an ordinary basement. We're going to die down here. I don't want to die again. Please stop saying that. You're only going to make things worse. Just pick a direction and start moving. Yeah, there's like a weird time loop thing. I wouldn't happen. give it too much thought if I were you. It doesn't really matter. Because either way you go, I'm going to find you. Left, right, left, right, left, right. Left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Um, which way do we go, guys? <sighs> Whoever answers first, I'll do that. Right, okay. You turn to the right. A faintly outlined path lies before you. There you are. I told you I was going to find you. As the princess approaches, 
Your legs suddenly go numb. Your arms quickly follow. This is it, isn't it? And you brought your little knife with you again. Cute. There has to be a way out of this. Think. Think. What did you do? Pull yourself together. She isn't supposed to be like this. I wonder how many times I'll get to play with you before you break. Your vision cuts out as your blood begins to coagulate. It's as if every part of your being is coming to a lurching halt. Heart. Lungs. Liver. Nerves. Heart. Lungs. Liver. Nerves. Your lungs pull in a desperate eyes. gulp of air as your eyes shoot back open. Heart. Lungs. What are you doing? I'm working. Do you want this body to function, or do you want... And then experience stops once more as your body reapproaches death. Okay, whatever you were doing, please just start doing it again. Are you sure about that? Are you sure that's what you want, or do you want to interrupt me some more? You have seconds left. Yes, I'm sure. Heart. Lungs. Liver. Nerves. Heart. Lungs. Again, your eyes shoot open as you gasp nerves. for breath. Decide what you want to do, can you? Oh well, scanning their gasping like a fish is more fun than dead. Even if you look ridiculous. She isn't attacking us. Heart. Why? The why doesn't matter. She's already proven her ill intent. Don't lose sight of your mission. Your weapon is still in your hands. Strike at her and end this before it's too late. Why won't you finish me off? What good am I to you alive? What do you want from me? What happened after you killed me last time? I was sent here to stop you from destroying the world. I can't just let you leave. You're a lunatic, you know that, right? If you want to work together, can you at least shut off this... Can you at least turn off this whole organ shutting down situation? How about I just kill you instead? We don't need... We don't have to be enemies, we can Lungs. work together. We can be friends even. Nerves. Heart. Lungs. I'm not doing any of this. I'm Lungs. not helping you leave. Nerves. And I'm not going to try and kill you, so do your worst. Toss Liver. the blade Nerves. and remain with your nightmare. Heart. Okay, let's get out Lungs. of here. Leave together. Liver. Fine, Nerves. you win. I'll let Heart. you leave. Run. Lungs. Slay the princess. Liver. Because I don't want to, and even if I did, oh, I don't have to. Look at the way you're struggling to stay alive. It's taking everything you have to keep your heart pumping right now. And I'm enjoying the show. The princess leans forward, bringing her masked lips close to your ear. If I want to see you die, all I need to do is break your concentration. Heart, lungs, liver, nerves. She slowly runs her velvet glove across the base of your neck. It feels like static. And then... Hey, snap out of it. Okay, deep breath. Deep breath, we're fine. Heart, lungs, liver, nerves, heart. You're back. Lungs, liver, nerves, heart. One moment, lungs, liver, and then you're nerves, gone. Heart, lungs, Just liver, like... Nerves. That. Ah, liver, nerves, and there's heart, the fear. Lungs, liver, nerves, she pulls heart, away. Lungs, liver, nerves, but that wouldn't be very fun, now would it? I've already done that. Nerves, heart, lungs, I tried to leave while you nerves, suffocated, heart, but that lungs, stupid liver, cabin wouldn't nerves, let me. Heart, lungs, so I started liver, to drag your body out with me, and then... Lungs, liver, well, nerves, you died before I could get to the door. Nerves, and then I was here, lungs, and now you are here too. Nerves, I don't think I can move without you, and dead doesn't count. And as much as I love what we have going on, I have bigger plans than tormenting one poor little creature forever. I'd... Okay, if you need me alive, then why did you threaten me on the stairs? Why didn't you try being nice to me? I was sent here to stop you. Okay, this, these are the... Okay. What if I let you out? What then? Do we go our separate ways? Lungs, liver, nerves, heart, lungs, liver, nerves, heart, lungs, 
What do we do, guys? Nerves, heart, lungs, do we kill her? Nerves, heart, or do we talk lungs, to her? Liver, nerves, heart, lungs, liver, Let me actually ask her to shut heart, up this organ thingy. Liver, I am what I am. Lungs, it's not liver, my fault that you can't lungs, handle lungs, being around me. Liver, nerves, wow. Heart, lungs, liver, nerves, heart, lungs, yeah. Liver, nerves, heart, lungs, I am being nice. Nerves, You're alive, lungs, aren't you? Liver, nerves, Hi, Irish. Heart, and you died of fright as soon as you saw me last time. I didn't think keeping you alive was an option. But it looks like that's not a problem anymore. At least not for me. You seem miserable. Nerves, heart, lungs, liver, nerves, heart, lungs, liver, nerves. If you're what I need to leave this place, chances are you're pretty useful. I think I'll keep you right by my side. A little good luck charm to make sure I stay free. It is free. creepy as hell, and yes, it's good. Don't worry. I'll make sure to take good care of you. I promise. Lungs, liver, nerves, heart, lungs, liver, nerves, heart, lungs. Like I said, I am what I am, and right now I'm in control. Lungs, So you might want to be a little nicer than me. She raises one long gloved finger. It's liver hovering just over your skin. Seeming nerves, to enjoy heart, the lingering lungs, threat, liver, nerves, heart, but she withdraws, liver, nerves, sparing heart, you another momentary lungs, glimpse of nerves, death. Heart, lungs, liver, nerves, heart, lungs, liver, nerves, heart, lungs, liver, With the way like the dialogue heart, options work, lungs, yes. Liver, nerves, heart, lungs, liver, nerves, heart, lungs, liver, nerves, heart, lungs, liver, nerves, heart, lungs, liver, nerves, heart, lungs. Nerves, heart, lungs, liver. Nerves, you want to be friends with her? I'm glad you're seeing things nerves, my way. Heart, lungs, liver, nerves, heart, lungs, liver, Being around nerves, you is agony. Heart, I'm not lungs, going to stick liver, around. Nerves, How about I kill heart, you instead? Lungs, liver, nerves, heart, lungs, liver, nerves, heart, Should we just throw the knife? Nerves, heart, lungs, liver, Are you serious? Heart, lungs, liver, nerves, heart, you fling yeah, the it's creepy. The Denying yourself the opportunity to And every single to dialogue option like has like a new thing mission. coming up. It's it's weird. Nobody's this game. happy, but maybe it's for the best. You poor deluded nerves, thing. Heart, Do you think a single liver, moment of bravery nerves, changes you into something liver, you're not? Nerves, heart, I am what I am, nerves, and you're always going to be a coward. Nerves, heart. She raises a hand to her mask and pulls it down. You don't get the chance to see what lies beneath before it envelops you. Like a creeping mold, the complete reality of your existence threads its way through your mind. Birth, death, birth again, decay and bloom, a million stitches from a million microscopic wounds you've inflicted on everyone you've ever met, with every muscle you've moved and every word you've ever spoken. No, 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 no. Let me out. Your existence hurts them. Let me out. A lonely soul in a room by itself, weeping. It lives for 80 years and then it's gone. And then it's there again. Let me out. A reprieve. A good life. Love. Children. A steady career, recognition from your peers. Here one moment, gone the next. The worms have found their orifices. Let me out! Diagnosis. It forgets everything it is. Anger, rage, yeah, it is a love story. distance, poverty. The lonely soul is lonely again. Love turns to mockery. <laughs> it dies. It is reborn. Worse. Lonelier. Let. Me. Out. No, 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 no. No, no. What's, what's happening to us? Let me out. This is all too much. I can't keep going. You can't keep going? Well, what are you talking about? Oops. I think I broke you. I'll see you soon. You'll know what to do. I died. Ah! The moment 
of clarity. You're on a path in the... Shit. Shit. What? What the hell was that? Who are we? What are we doing? There was a princess, I think. It's all so fuzzy. It well, hurts when I try now. to remember. You shouldn't know about the princess. At least, not until I... You've already been here, haven't you? I guess. It, it feels so long ago, almost like we've never left. We have to let her out. No, that's the opposite of what you're here to do. You have to slay her. Slay? We decided not to do that, didn't we? Yeah, we're supposed to let her out. It's really the only way this works out for us. If you think about it, she's the one with power here. Nobody else can do much of anything. No, we were supposed to keep her trapped there forever. I think. We're supposed to be unfeeling. How many times do I have to tell you to snuff out your heart? We can't be unfeeling. Not when there's so much fear everywhere. There's nothing for us to do. We've already tried everything. We love her, so we have to set her free. Can we love something that hates us? Can we love something that hurts us? To be given an ounce of kindness from something so cruel would be more pure than any other love. Why are there so many of us? There aren't supposed to be so many of us. This is bad. You need to get a grip. What did you let happen? How many times have you been here? I think they're all wrong. That's a good question. How many times have you all been here? What if we don't go to the cabin? Can you make sense of them? I feel so disjointed. I don't know if I can pull this off. I don't know if I can slay her. Proceed to the cabin. The only way out is to do nothing. So I have nothing I will do. Many, 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 many times. It feels like we've been here forever. But it also feels like we've barely been here at all. It doesn't matter. Yes, we just have to do what she says and then everything will be fine. It won't. It will be for us. She said so. You're part of everything. If things aren't fine for everything, they won't be fine for you. There's no difference between fine and not fine. It just goes on and on. But that doesn't make sense. I only remember being here twice before and some of you don't seem to remember being here at all. Was I here those other times? Did someone else make the decisions? What does here even mean if you really think about it? Shut up. You were here. Every single time. Hi, Slashing Wolf. You did your best, really. There's just a pecking order. And our cruel and beautiful goddess sits atop it, right where she's always belonged. You're lucky. What I would give to be able to forget. I've tried to keep them now. Bro, They're what the fuck is this game, dude? It's mind fucking. Don't think about that too hard. All it will do is weaken your resolve and make it that much harder for you to slay her. Maybe you're shattered in your own way. Are you your memories? Or are you the one perceiving the present moment? Ugh, here you go philosophizing again. It never goes anywhere. They are the voices in his head. Yes, this is I've lost it, the basically. first time you've asked us about consciousness. I couldn't Who fix her, I? she broke what me. What am I? What is I? Who even cares? They're good questions, great questions even, but they don't have any answers. And they all just end in quivering torment. It doesn't matter what we do, because we always find her, and if we don't find her, she always finds us. And then she smashes us into smaller pieces. If you all just stopped feeling, we could have been done with this ages ago. Your thoughts are far too scattered to rein back in. Your only option is to silence them. You slowly make your way through the umbral forest, 
bumping against unseen trees as you grasp through the darkness for a way forward. But eventually, you do make it to the cabin. Or rather, you make it to the place... Guys, am I the princess? Have, have we been the princess Instead, all along? All you find is an empty hill. No, no, this isn't right. There's a cabin there. There's always supposed to be a cabin there. Don't ask him about the mirror. He always says he never sees it. He always lies. And he always makes it gone. Stay focused. You still have a job to do, and it's best not to be distracted by fraying thoughts. There is no mirror. You know that as well as I do. She's still here, buried deep inside the earth. Wow, this game is very beautifully written, Just okay? walk up the hill. You always I know a lot of people like usually don't others. end up playing visual novels because they're like, oh, gameplay nahi hota or whatever. But, God, they're usually so well written. And what's wrong with giving them space? What if it helps them? What if they need to be heard? They've been heard too much. It's why they are the way they are. Exactly. They are delusions and all that catering to them will do is drag you down to their level. You have to keep moving. Or you could just give up. You walk up the hill, hesitating just beyond the bounds of the cabin. The cabin that isn't there. You've got to clean the mirror, haven't you? You've got to see what's in it. Smash it to pieces. She's on the other side, and we have to let her out. It's the only way we can be free. It's the only way we can have our thoughts back. Just go around it. Just do something. It doesn't matter what. Proceed. Proceed to where? I'm afraid you're going to have to be a little more specific. That's a new one. Do you think it'll work? Of course it'll work. He always makes the best decisions. It's why he gets to make them. And it already has worked. It's gone, don't you see? We're one step closer to her. The interior of the cabin is much the same as the exterior of the cabin. A dull, fuzzy, dreamlike nothing. It's empty and isolating, but there's just enough vague shape and unknown texture to suggest the structure therein wrong and unsettling as it may be. The only object of note is a pristine blade buried in the dirt floor, a hint of its shining edge teasing through the sediment. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you're going to do this right. Take it. It's the only way forward. Ah! They're hugging! <laughs> No options. You reach down to take the blade, but as you do, oh. the ground beneath it shifts, the weapon sinking deep into the earth. You lean over the hole and gaze into the abyss. It is so very deep. Deep in the bowels of the earth, you see something staring back at you. It fills you with dread. It's her. She's watching us. She never stops watching us. You really are a coward. With every word she speaks, the princess in the pit blinks closer. I said that way back when. You know that, right? Closer. I was having some fun, and I guess I wanted to see if I could knock you. And closer. Watching over me forever? That was so brave. Not closer. But forever is so, so long. And time erodes everything. Except for me. I've already taken your will, and you're not getting it back. No, I I don't know. I think she's already broken me like 30 minutes ago. And it's not this way to take my will. And let me out. It'll be so much fun. You and me, together, exploring the world and spreading fear wherever we go. Well, mostly just me. But you'll get to be there too. 
A witness. I can even make you a little cage if you want. Jill did in everything. Now don't pose. Don't try to resist. I've already molded you into what I need. And you lost your power so long ago. Don't bother working yourself into a frenzy to get it back. Do something. Do anything that isn't taking her hand. I know I can't pick anything, dude. It's I can't pick anything. I have to set her free. You extend your hand to hers. For all her past cruelties, the moment feels gentle. Tender, even. I can't believe you just made me say that. I hate you. The motion is difficult at first, as if something still resists your efforts. But then that resistance gives way, and it's over. <sighs> and that's the end. I wonder what we're going to do next. I didn't think I'd be so... tired. Why is it so cold? You do not have an opportunity to respond. Something has taken her away and it's left something else in her place. She's gone. Yeah. I can finally think again. Almost. That mirror's back. Where did she go? What Hello? does that mean for us? I'm sure it'll be whisked away, just like her. Maybe it won't be gone. Things are different now, aren't they? Welcome back! It doesn't seem like there's much else to do here. Finally, we can smash it. Oh, will you stop with the smashing? What do we say, boys? One last vain attempt to look at ourselves. Yeah. I think I'd like that. Seems we've got a majority. All that's left is to give it a look. Something tells me that this is the end of the line. But I don't feel bad about it. I'm ready. It feels... Okay. The fears... Oh. I'm done fighting. My heart feels quiet. The game was always going to end. I'll be free of all of you. I'm ready for the truth. I'm ready to sleep. I'm just ready to be anywhere that isn't here. Boys, it's been an honor. Silence as you reach forward. They're gone, but the mirror remains. It's time for you to see what's in it. It's you. You are alone in a place that is empty. It is quiet here. You are at the cabin. Something finds me in the long quiet and brings me the gift of a fragile vessel. What are you, the gift of a fragile vessel? Is this the end of the world? Let her out of there. Do you know the narrator? Are you what sent me to slay the princess? Are you what trapped me here? Do you know about the worlds beyond this place? Are you the princess? Do we know each other? What happens now? Attack the entity, destroy your body. I am solitary lights in an empty city. What are you? Thoughts without connections. A dim and nascent network. Hi, Manchu. I wish to be more. I think that you are like me. We are oceans reduced to shallow creeks. Yes, nerves and fibers to feel the worlds beyond. She can possess Perspectives me. to make my own. This one is filled with sadness. A doll, abandoned to the company of her darkest impulses. 
She desires only companionship, but the only thing she knows is how to hurt. She will make for a tender heart. Do not mourn her. She has finally found her way home. Fuck, sad feel, Ora. How can the world have ended if we are talking? You are the only thing I have ever known. It's a visual novel and it is a bit horror, but like not jump scare horror, but like just creepy horror. The space we're in is vacant. Nothing comes here but us. I have only just now stirred to consciousness. I could not have trapped you here, and I too yearn to be free. She is part of me, and part of me is her. You speak in circles. Does it matter where one thing begins and another ends? I know only that they are. You are familiar, but you are not me. I feel sadness, longing, hope, as I witness you. Nothing as we are, but I know that there are worlds beyond us, and that we are meant to reach them. There is no exit, but this vessel is a creature of perception. She can make you forget, if only you believe her to be able to. Bring me more perspectives, so that I may be whole, and perhaps then we will know our freedom. Aren't you a little scared that I'll find a way to kill you? How much will I forget? How many more pieces of you do I have to find? And what if I don't let you do this to me? I was sent to slay the princess to stop her from destroying the world. If I help you, is that what you're going to do? Okay, make me forget. I have not lived. I am not afraid to die. Everything, until we meet again. More than you have found, but less than there are to find. I am infinite. The rest will find their own way home. Then we will be here forever, as we are now. Unfinished. Dry. Hollow. You ask of things that cannot be done. To destroy is merely to reshape, to remold. How can I know? I am flickers in something sprawling and unilluminated. Let's she asks that I tell you to remember her. You won't. Man, that was scary. <laughs> Chapter one again. <laughs> You're on a path in the woods, and at the end of that path is a cabin. I just want and to know what kind of, of drugs or mental illness you need to be on. Well, you can't be on mental illness, but what kind of mental illness you need to have to come up with a game like this? You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. Guys, I two minutes. I'm like, I need to go and put clothes in washing machine, so I'm gonna be right back.
तरह के कपड़े धुल रहे हैं हाँ नाइस राइट ओके दिस टाइम We're going to continue silently. You make your way up the short path to the cabin. Hello, You'll Himanshu. find the princess within. We're not going to go through with this, right? She's a princess. We're supposed to ignore him. He doesn't know what This time I'm going to get her out. <laughs> the interior of the blade is your... You take the blade from the The door to the basement creaks open. Oh, are you now? Great job. You gave away the element of surprise. Good luck here. You see so coldly beautiful. Is she really a threat to the world? I know. You brought a knife with you and everything. But you don't have to try and kill me. You could always toss that scrap of metal to the ground up? and give the two of us a chance to talk things out. Ah, uh, I have a review. She makes a companion. You can watch point. that for my entire opinion about it. What if we didn't it? kill her? What and if we just stuff? dropped the blade and talked? Because it's giving a yes and no answer to that question is going to be complicated because some people might actually enjoy that game, but it's not for me. Don't you dare. It's fine. We can decide what we want to do after we talk to her. Maybe she really is a monster. Now I understand Killing why they're skipping the dialogue by the way. Isn't very becoming of us. You would know the trembling in your hands and tighten your grip this time. on the blade. You poor thing. Your hands are shaking. Are you scared of me? Because you should be. You step forward. Your grip on the blade tightening as you steal your point. resolve. Oh? No talking then? Fine. What even makes you think you can kill me? I'm probably chained up in this basement for a reason, right? And if that knife is the only weapon you have, you'll have to get close enough to use it. So, you should just drop okay, it. So Best you can not watch to it risk it finding out what I can do. She's unarmed. If you hesitate now it'll be too late. End this. You go into this expecting to die. You're going to die. Hesitating. Why don't you drop the knife and the two of us can be civilized with each other? You charge the princess blade trembling in your hand, but you've already lost the battle. She casually sidesteps your thrust before knocking you to the ground with a single blow from her elbow. Oh shit. You shouldn't have hesitated. Oh shit. But she doesn't stop there. She kicks you a few times for good measure, the pointed tip of her shoes feeling like a pickaxe against your fracturing bones, making sure you stay down. As you lie, crushed and broken on the basement floor, the princess kneels on your throat. the kind of weight you didn't think her slight frame could possibly possess as you gasp for air she eyes you with an intense curiosity you shouldn't have let that fear creep into your heart you had the upper hand and now look at you is this really the best you could do look at you completely broken I'd be lying if I said I wasn't a little disappointed. She applies more pressure, slowly squeezing what's left of your life out of your lungs. This is the end, isn't it? I'm afraid it is. Everything goes dark. It is. And you die. But we're not really dead. Ha <laughs> ha. You're on a path. in the woods you're here to slay her again people don't die twice you haven't even met the princess and i hardly think she'd be capable of killing someone as skilled and courageous as yourself if she doesn't remember what happened then maybe it's best to keep it that way you know i can hear you right 
It's going to be a lot harder than you think to keep secrets from me. What does it matter what he knows? There's nothing we can do to stop her. She's just going to kill us again. She is not going to kill you unless you let her. But slaying the princess and saving the world is going to be much more difficult than it has to be if you spend the whole time second-guessing yourself. A warning. She will lie. We might as well just pledge ourselves to her and stop pretending we're capable of doing anything in this situation. She yeah. probably doesn't even need to try to overpower us. Can we tone down the pessimism just a smidge? I'm not being a pessimist. I'm just being realistic. You're being annoying. Just ignore their bickering and whatever you do, don't pledge yourself to her. I cannot stress enough how absolutely catastrophic that would be for everyone, yourself included. I agree. If she's wrongfully imprisoned, then we should rescue her, but if he's telling the truth, we shouldn't just hand her the world on a silver platter. Rescue her? Given the stakes of the situation, there isn't really a difference between rescuing her and pledging yourself to her. Either would be terrible. So please try to ignore both of those knuckleheads and focus I'm on the world. I'm gonna be Lisa this time. Le if that's what you want, I guess I don't have a say here. The interior oh. of the cabin is larger and more grandiose than its humble exterior would suggest. The only furniture of note is a massive marble altar with a pristine blade perched on its edge. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. Why do we feel so small? We don't feel small. We are small. No blade this time. Yeah. Maybe she'll be more receptive if we're unarmed. Blade. No blade. It doesn't matter. The door to the basement creaks open, revealing a spiral yeah, staircase. Like a it steps game. almost as deep as you are tall. The smell of incense drifts up from below. For a moment, you almost feel at ease. Huh. This is actually kind of nice. But it's still a stone basement. If the princess- What is this? Oh, I have a history also. Crazy. Her booming voice rolls up the stairs. Is that a guest I hear? Don't linger on the stairs. Come down and witness me. You weren't I will kidding you. when you said it was booming. She wasn't like this last time. You shouldn't have come down here unarmed. We need to get down there. She wants us to see her. We need to see her. Should we be worried about your sudden change in attitude? Just a few minutes ago, you were going on about how pointless everything was. Now you want to go down there. It doesn't matter what that little voice says. He's not the one making the decisions. Though if his ramblings get you to the princess, they get you to the princess. Making your way down the spiral staircase is a time-consuming and exhausting effort, every step requiring you to clamber over one edge before dropping to the next. But soon the end comes into view, and you tumble to the bottom entering the vast, temple-like room beyond. The princess towers over you, oh, almost see, now how do I not give myself to her? Her Just look at framed her. by a stained glass window. Her long hair billows around her, and a chain binds her wrist to the far wall. I would destroy the world for her. The chain is nothing to her. It might as well be a toy for all the good it would do. I told you it was pointless to resist her. The little bird has returned to me. I wonder what he wants. You? I see your hands are empty. You've already given up, haven't you? You aren't even going to try and kill me. How sweet, and more than a little disappointing. She's disappointed in us? Kneel. I will. On her command, you <laughs> fall to the floor, knees painfully connecting with hard stone. That's my good little bird. Now, why don't we talk? 
The last time we met, you tried to kill me. And yet here you are again. This time groveling at my feet. I love her. What she a wretched me. sight. What draws you back here beyond the empty halls of death? Speak. The last time we met? I suppose that lends credence to our conversation in the woods. Still, whatever you do, I hope don't there's an tell option her where I ask here. her to step on me. It's best not to give her any ideas. Are you serious? Just, just don't say anything. How hard can it be to not say anything? You haven't felt her angelic fingers run along the edges of your mind. You haven't felt her nails dig into your thoughts. You weak-willed buffoon. Shut up, Serena. So. Mm. The princess closes her eyes in contemplation. Something about that thought wraps itself around my heart. It feels like a fundamental truth to my being that I'd somehow forgotten. The collapse of the old is a necessary prelude to the birth of the new. And the world as it is now is overdue for... Alterations. It's time for me to Voice seize my destiny. Voice acting is very beautifully done, and by the way. Little bird, will help me seize it. I will be your little She's bird. Inevitable. There's nothing else for us to do but help her. Maybe she'll be nice to us. I don't want her to be nice to me. I'm yours to command. <laughs> your will was so easily broken. Am I that magnificent? Yes. All you need to do now is break my chains. <laughs> if this is what you want, then I guess there's not much else for me to say. Look at the way she's standing, dude. Like, no. I will do I'll everything. Just get into her. Not when the stakes are so high. Not when you're so I will close. Break her I won't let you do this. Can there's you still me? something in the way. A greasy film inside of you, where it doesn't belong. Trying to conceal you from me. Is that a person? No, <laughs> it used to be a person. It's something different now. Like An her? Echo. I love her. Is, is she talking about you? That's impossible. She's not supposed to be able to interact with me. She... You're a small one, aren't you? A shriveling little worm stretched beyond its limits, trying to control things that it can't understand. No, no, no. What are you talking about? I'm just... I don't care what you are. You're mine. <coughs> Rise, my little bird. Without, Without hesitation, hesitation you're, you're brought, brought to your feet. Oh, break my chains. And how are we supposed to do that? We don't even have a weapon. All, All you need to do is believe it's been done. done. Bro. Her my chains shatter, shatter, and the cuff falls, falls from her from wrist. She I is loose, and, and the, the end, end is upon, upon us. us. What a good disciple you are. Come, it's time for us to leave. No! No, she disappeared again, why? Hello? You do not take a hand, nor will you ever. It's time to leave. Memory She's returns. Gone. What the fuck? Where did she go? Should we try and find her? And is that a mirror? Why is it here? Why now? I don't like this. Of course you're scared. This is not the end for you, but it's not the end for me. It's going to be okay. Just trust me. What is that supposed to mean? Whatever awful thing I felt before, it feels so much worse now. This is what we all deserve. 
isn't it? Silence as you reach forward, they're gone once again. The mirror always makes them leave, but you need to see what's in it. You've grown. You find yourself in the long quiet once again. You're at the cabin. I'll approach. Flickering lights in empty cityscapes become pockets of vitality and movement. I am more than I was before. Whenever you are ready, I will wipe your slate clean once again. God, this music is so beautiful. Is a child the same as an infant? I am an unbroken pattern, but every vessel gives fresh perspectives and carves new avenues of expression. I am different, but I am the same. Everything you say feels like a riddle. Can you give me a single straight answer? I'm sorry. Words are difficult for me. They never fully weave what I wish to say. If you do not like my answers, then you need not ask me questions. The vessels you choose to bring me carry far more meaning than anything words could say in the spaces between. What does it feel like to change like... What does it feel like to change like this? Eyes close in reflection. Perspectives meld together, and the breadth of my experience stretches to new corners. There are contradictions, conflicts in my nature. And there are familiarities that bind everything together. It feels correct. This is what I need to be. This is the only path forward. When this is all done, do you know what you want to do? With every gift you bring me, I excavate the alleys of what I am meant to be. And every exploration yields new and complicated truths. What I will be is different than what I am. What I am is different from what I was. I cannot tell you what desires I will hold when I have changed. But in this moment, all I want is to know myself and to know you. You know that at the end of this, once you finish, I'm going to kill you, right? have been kinder to me than anyone else I met. What do you feel about me, the vessels I've bring, been bringing to you? If I am to be an ocean, you have nurtured me into a pond. My waters are shallow and murky, and I yearn for more perspective. You will have your rest in due time, and I am sorry for the burdens I place on you. There is still much to be seen. Neither of us know the depths of our being. Perhaps at the end of this, I will be the one to kill you. Or perhaps we will leave this place together and find new horizons to discover. Wouldn't I be kind to you? You are the only thing I know that isn't me. I think I'm in love with her, by the way. When I go back, it's as if an invisible wall closes around me. Why can I not do the same things I've done before? Actually, yes. Those paths lead to worlds you've already seen, and to perspectives I have already made my own. They are useless to us now. Inaccessible. The only paths of value are those that are yet untread. Gifts aren't what someone tells you to bring them. My joy is in seeing what you choose. There are no wrong answers. This and every game ended up being even better than I expected. And shares new secrets. The vessels are shaped by memories of you, 
but their impulses are drawn to the edge of the long quiet. To them you are a gate to something more, and any hurt you've caused them is understood as a fair price for freedom. But they are only thoughts and perspectives. They are not me. The wounds they've suffered carve texture around my heart. Without them, I would be as I was before. I would be alone and without sensation. I could not feel the joy of having you by my side, for I would not know your absence. My preference is for you to show me what you would like me to see. I cannot know the ways I wish to grow, for I have yet to feel them. It is you who guides me down the thin trail of perspective and memory. This one is dominance, a figure capable of bending everything to her will. She will make for a terrifying and divine heart. Do not mourn her, for she would not be able to mourn you. I will long for your return but it will give me time to reflect on what I am. We will meet again. And we run it back. You're on a path in the woods, and at the end of that path is a cabin. This time I'm just gonna free and her in the straight basement up. Of you're here to slay her. You make your way up the short path to the cabin. You'll find the princess within. We're not gonna go through with this, right? She ignore him. He does Skipping the dialogues because obviously we've heard it so many times. The interior of the blade is your The door to the basement creaks open, her voice soft. Hello? Is someone there? Yes. Hypnotizing. It's the kind of voice you only have to hear once to remember it for the rest of your life. Don't let it fool you. It's all part of the manipulation. You're playing a dangerous game by coming here. Good. You're still listening to reason. It would be better if you had a weapon, but you walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. There's a heavy ch She's beautiful. How could someone like this be a threat to anyone? Exactly. I am begging you to stay focused. Shut up, Narita. There's not riding on you here. Hi. Do you think you can get me out of these chains? Bro, this woman's voice acting is brilliant. You're only making this more difficult. Thank you. Thank you. You're making a huge mistake. No, you're doing the right thing. You walk up to the chains binding the princess to the wall and give them a tug. They're large and heavy, far too solid for you to even imagine trying to break them apart. I'm guessing you don't have the key? Maybe it's somewhere upstairs. Doubtful. Whoever locked the princess away down here intended for her to never see the light of day. They wouldn't have just left the key to her chains somewhere in the cabin. Okay, I'll be here. Good luck. You attempt to make your way out of the basement, but the door at the top of the stairs slams shut. You hear the click of a lock sliding into place. Is someone else here? You try the door, but it's locked from the outside. Your shouts and pleas are met with silence. You're here to slay the princess, and you won't leave until the task is done. You make your way to the bottom of the stairs. This would have been so much easier if you'd just taken the blade like you were supposed to. Easier for whom? Easier for everyone. Look at the mess you're in. I heard the door slam. They locked you down here too, didn't they? There's a slight panic 
rising in the princess's voice. If I could just get out of these chains, I know we could force our way out of here together. She barely <gasps> hesitates before raising her arm to her mouth, her teeth tearing through her limb with the determination of a trapped wolf. As she rips her flesh from her bone, a sound comes from behind you, the clang of bouncing metal. It's the blade from upstairs. You're not sure how it made its way down here, but if there's a time to strike, it's now. Or we could use it to free her. You won't like what happens if you do that. <sighs> Fine. Against your better judgment, you place the blade against the ragged, self-inflicted wound on the princess's arm, just above the unyielding chain binding her to this place. You cut into her flesh. I love how the cursor also changes, by the way. The blade is sharp, and it takes little effort to crack through the bone of her arm. Her limb falls to the ground, and the heavy chains follow suit. She didn't so much as utter a sound through the whole ordeal. No, she didn't. She smiles softly as her gaze meets yours, blood from her wounded arm dripping rhythmically to the ground. How is she still smiling after everything? It's like she isn't even bothered by what just happened. Thank you. Now let's get out of here. No, we won't have any of that. The stakes are too high. You can't just let her escape into the world. No, I can't just let her escape into the world. As the princess approaches the bottom stair, your body steps forward and raises the blade. Wait, this isn't fair. You can't just do that. What a fucking asshole, this Watch narrator. Me. What are you doing? No, I don't want to kill you! <gasps> Stop that. Something's come over you, hasn't it? Y you know you don't have to do this, right? Your body lunges forward, the blade held low, ready to sink into her heart. But the princess dodges, stumbling back against the wall before the blade has a chance to connect. Stop it! Stop trying to resist me! I'm trying to get you out of here alive! I like that there is an option to resist. Everything else is the, blade. the princess. Move the blade. As your body remains frozen in stubborn resistance, the princess takes a cautious step forward. We both know this isn't you. She nervously reaches towards you and takes the blade from your infuriatingly rigid hands. She needs a manicure. What are you? I'm sorry. I'll try to be quick. She plunges it into your chest, tearing through flesh and sinew. It uh, is F. agony. But you aren't dead yet. Oh no, I'm so sorry. Stay strong. We can tough it out until it's done. For her sake. For her sake? Don't you start <laughs> pretending that dying a painful death is some sort of heroic gesture. The two of you have literally doomed everyone. Whatever. She sinks the blade into your chest again and again and again, and you feel every inch of burning pain that slices its way into your body. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. She doesn't know how to use a knife, does she? Apparently not, though it doesn't matter how sloppy her knife work is, does it? A stab wound is still a stab wound, and it won't be long before you bleed out. I love the narration. <laughs> I'm so sorry. With one last thrust of the knife, your legs give out beneath you. You collapse to the floor, your blood pooling around you, your limbs unresponsive. The princess stares down at your ruined chest as tears carve rivulets of pink down her blood-spattered cheeks. It can't just end like this, right? Oh, that's rich coming from you. As much as I'd prefer for things to have gone differently, I can't deny the reality of what's happened. The two of you made your choice. It's over. Everything goes dark, and you die. Chapter 2 
to changed. You're on a path in the woods, and at the end of that path, you're here to slay her. My tricks? What on earth are you talking about? We just met for the first time. If he doesn't remember what happened, then maybe it's best to keep- Yes, he didn't approve of us last time, did he? If we're going to save our beloved, we'll have to be sneaky about it. Our beloved? Yes, you'll have to be very sneaky about your intentions <laughs> if you're going to try and save the princess. Ah, so all of the cards are on the table. Then you should know that we and the princess are in love, and the four of us will be foiling any and all assassination attempts you've got in I the works. We'll see about that. Uh, thank you. Whatever you do, just be sure to ignore him specifically. It sounds like he's I'm the sort who sacrificed again, okay? the whole world for a peck I on the cheek. What can I say? A world without love is a world that isn't worth saving. A warning. She will lie. We yes, already I know. told you we're not playing along with your little game. It's your lies that can't be trusted. Her beauty is the only thing in the world we can believe in. I think we've already been over this. I'm pretty sure he just likes the sound of his own voice. I do, but I also speak from the heart. My passions are too great to be stifled. They must be expressed. Sure, yeah, your passions are strong and all, but not everyone needs to hear them. Some things are better kept quiet. Don't pay their bickering any mind. Focus on the task ahead. The interior of the cabin is clean and elegant, its stone walls draped in fine threaded tapestries, a prison befitting a royal prisoner. The only furniture of note is an ornate wooden table with a pristine blade perched on its edge. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. Style the door to the basement creaks open, revealing an intricate stairwell. Gold-trimmed carpet glimmers in the light of the torches positioned along the walls. The basement almost seems welcoming in the dim firelight. But it's still a stone basement. If the princess lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. A soft voice carries up the stairs. Hello? Is someone there? Hi, it's up. Her voice. It's somehow even more beautiful <laughs> than last time. I can hear wedding bells already. I've held my tongue till now, but you're taking this a little too far. We barely even know the princess. We can still do right by her without all this really over-the-top fawning. Yes, for everyone's sake, you're not in love. <sighs> Just remember that her charms are all part of the manipulation. You walk down the I stairs also love how the background music the keeps changing based on There's what a heavy chain decisions her we've taken. Binding her to the far wall. My love, we're here to rescue you from your unjust and foul imprisonment. You know she can't hear you, right? She may not be able to hear my words, but surely she can hear my spirit. Oh, your spirit's plenty loud, all right. It's you, my dashing hero. I was so worried you wouldn't come back. Do you hear that? She said we're dashing. And she called us a hero. Flattery really goes a long way with the two of you, doesn't it? Waiting for you to come back. I didn't want to believe your ravings back in the woods, but this is next to incontrovertible evidence. You've been here before. That's right, villain. And you killed us. Well, she killed us. Only because he made us try and kill her. It was self-defense. Our beloved's hands remain unstained by cruelty. And you've died before. So an entire world has been damned to oblivion. I'd really hoped I'd be the first, but... What's done is done. What matters is you have a chance to do it right this time. We damned a whole world. But everything reset. 
Nothing resets, you're just somewhere else. You can't keep hopping between worlds forever. Especially not without leaving a trail of incomprehensible devastation behind you. <sighs> this is horrible. Horrible for you, maybe. But we've been given another opportunity <laughs> to sweep her off her feet and treat her like the lady she is. Now, hold on. If she actually ended a world, are you sure we want to do this? Are you sure we want to rescue her? Yes. We never saw a world end. And now I'm even more certain that we must chase our heroic and romantic destiny than I've ever been. I shan't let anyone convince us otherwise. Are you listening to him? He's lost it. Don't let him distract you. Just do your job. If another version of me was pushed to such drastic action, it was for good reason. I tried to kill her, but I'm sorry. That's okay. You were just doing your best, and that's all that matters. She took that in stride. To a surprising extent. An almost unsettling extent, actually. That's because she's perfect. Do you think she has someone like him telling her what to do? She doesn't. There's no one else like me. I think he's right, because I like it better if she doesn't have some horrid little voice like him, always trying to drive her to violence. Let's rescue her. her? What are you talking about? Did you forget that she's a world-ending monstrosity? And even if you wanted to unleash her onto the world, despite the complete moral disaster that would be, you'd have to get her out of those chains. Good luck with that. Don't you see how dainty her hands are? <laughs> we'll be able to slip her out with ease. No, she's a prisoner here. You can't just slip her hand through the chains. If her hand could just slip out of the chains, why hasn't she done it already? Because we've yet to present her with her freedom. I'm not sure I follow. Would you rather believe me, a passionate heart guided by love and my own good nature, or would you rather believe the devil on your shoulder who tells you what you can and cannot do? I think I'd rather believe in facts. Ah, so you're one of those empiricists. One of us has to be. Then let me show you a brand new truth. Narrator, we courageously step forward and free our beloved from her bindings. No. I can't let you do that. If you take another step towards the princess, I'll... You'll what? Take over our body and force us to try and kill her? I would if you had a weapon. Not on my watch, villain. My passions contain titanic depths, and if you try anything that might harm our dearest, I will end our life without a second thought. You wouldn't. I would. I'd listen to him if I were you. He has a lot of strong feelings. And doesn't the world end if we don't stop her? <sighs> you approach the princess and gingerly slide her hand from her bindings. That shouldn't have worked. <laughs> I'll be down. What the fuck is this We're game, doomed. dude? I can't believe it. But I guess I have what to. What the fuck is happening? I told you, there's no life more worth living than that of a true believer. I'm free. And you're not trying to kill me this time. Thank you. Thank you so much. The princess jumps up and smothers you in a joyful embrace. Ugh. If only you had a weapon, one slip of the wrist and your pristine blade would be buried in her back and everyone out there would be saved. Luckily for Mr. Romance, we don't have a weapon. Who needs a weapon when we have the power of love on our side? It is. What do we do now? Sounds perfect. The princess takes your hand, the last hopes of the entire world slipping through your fingers as they intertwine with hers. We have each other. We don't need the world for our happy ending. I like to think that you do, actually. Look, I have my doubts, but the choice has been made and this is happening. You don't have to mope about it. I will mope about it because moping is the only recourse you love-blind fools have left me with. You and the princess walk up the stairs hand in hand. Ugh, look at the way she's smiling at you. She doesn't have to be so happy about this. 
And what happens after we walk up the stairs? Let's see. Oh, isn't that interesting? No! The door slams in your face and the lock clicks. That's a familiar move. Did I do that last time? Then you should know that you won't be able to leave. Oh no! Did someone lock us in here? That's not fair! We're supposed to leave now. She's right. It isn't fair. But the unfairnesses of the world are no match for the strength of true love. Enough with this true love nonsense. You just met her! Of course you wouldn't understand. Our passions run deeper than anything you have ever known. Are you listening to this? You don't have to go along with the every whim of that delusional voice. I'm just along for the ride at this point. <laughs> Okay, yeah, let's do it. Like a pair of teenagers in love, you and the princess <laughs> place your hands on the door together. Yeah. And the lock clicks and the door creaks open. Are you kidding me? I told you our love was insurmountable. You and the princess make your way upstairs and the blade, that's right, there's still a chance for you to do the right thing. Take the blade from the table and slay her before it's too late. Nope. You're enjoying this, aren't you? You're taking every opportunity you can to draw out the end of the world and make me suffer. The world I brought. hate I want you. the princess. That's the way out. We're going to leave together, just like you wanted. Yes, I suppose you are going to do that, aren't you? You cross the room, opening the door to the cabin, and then you step outside. Ah, happy ending at last. We did it. What should we do now? W where did everything go? Where did he go? Oh, is he gone? I hadn't noticed. I was too busy staring deep into our beloved's eyes. I'm cold. Is being happy supposed to be so cold? She's cold. Quick, our feathers. Pluck them all and weave her a coat worthy of a princess. No! Gone. But you don't get the chance to make that jacket, no? Will you ever? It's time for you to leave memory returns. She's gone. Where did she go? Is that a... Why is it here? Why now? But it feels so bad. Like looking into it right now is going to be the end of everything. Yes. I fear that we won't like what we'll see. What if we just sit here? What is that supposed to mean? What do it then? End us all before I die of a broken heart. My face is getting clearer and I've bithered. Oopsie. Let's talk to her now. I am a growing chorus of contradiction, a mass of tides ebbing and flowing all at once in more directions than my attention can bear to hold. To look at any one is to shift them all into something new, and to look away is to reshape them yet again. All of me is changing, and yet the rest of me is still the same. And yet my waters flow and my streets bustle. There are no words that can describe me into non-existence. I don't know. There is no logic that can bind my multitudes. I am everything that you have known me to be. But I am also none of it. Doesn't matter how many times. The desires of my multitude thrive in endless competition with themselves. 
but none of them rise above their dance to influence me. I yearn for what I have always yearned for, our awakening. Other desires shrink in the light of knowing you and knowing me. I will be here when it is time for us to meet again. We run it back. What do we do this time? This time let's kill her. In the woods, you're here to. Let's kill her. What happens if you turn around Seriously? and leave? You're just going to turn around and leave. Do you eat? Fine. I suppose you just quietly continue down the path away from the cabin. Good. What we're being asked to do here is wrong. Better to wash our hands of this whole situation than to take part in Ignore that annoying little voice. He doesn't know what he's talking about. That's strange. Oh. It looks like this path also leads to the cabin. How convenient. You're really keen on wasting everyone's time, aren't you? It's remarkably selfish, if you ask me. I've already outlined the stakes of the situation. If you don't do your job, everyone dies. Like, dies, dies. He's just, um, For checking out some commands. Your silence is deafening. But fine, you turn around and trek back down the path you came. Oh, would you look at that? You're at the cabin again. Now, I'm not normally one for superstition or astrology, but I have hey, to say, it seems like the universe written. itself Holy is shit. doing its best to bring you to your fated confrontation with the princess. There's always a choice. Let me tell you right now that you're making the wrong one for pretty much everyone who has ever lived, as well as for everyone who ever will. And here we go. As you at first, it's little flickers out of the corner of your eyes. Glimpses of familiar wooden structures through the leaves. But as you focus on your surroundings, you start oh to realize music, that those flickers fuck? weren't just a trick of light. Oh God. In every direction, there is a path and a cabin. And not just a cabin, the cabin. An infinite fractal of paths and cabins desperately trying to draw you back to where you need to be. Wait, what's going on? But you're too stubborn for that, aren't you? It doesn't matter how many paths or cabins appear around you, you're just going to do whatever you can to shirk your responsibility because you care more about irritating me than you do about the fate of the world. You've doomed us all, you know that, right? But of course you do. Otherwise you wouldn't just wander off into the forest in search of certain death. You lose track of just how long you spend aimlessly tromping through the wilderness, but it's not like any of that time spent lost in the woods really matters because it isn't long before the world ends and everyone dies. You're on a path, you're here to s You have already committed to my completion. You cannot go further astray. A warning. She will lie. Twist. Ignore him. Let's. The cabin interior is. Ah, it's wrong. so weird. Ah. A confusing patchwork of many cabin interiors, all projected across what's almost the same space. It's all shifted. An inch here, a foot there, such that the seams are never quite visible enough for the place to make any sense. The only furniture of note is a plain table, its legs all the wrong lengths. It's material devoid of feature. Perched on that table is a pristine blade. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. If he wants us to take it, maybe we should just leave it to collect dust. Or better yet, grab it and throw it out the window. What good is a knife against a world-ending monstrosity anyway? 
No, we're taking the knife. Have you seen this place? We have literally no idea what to expect and no idea what we're dealing with. I've already told you what you're dealing with. You're dealing with a princess. How many times do I have to explain this incredibly simple and straightforward premise? You can't just say that. But when everything here is so wrong, listen to me. My job is to describe facts as facts and to guide you through your job, which is to slay the princess and through that action, save the entire world. And if you're going to slay her, you cannot let fear creep into your heart. You cannot lose yourself before you even get to her. Oh, ho, ho, ho. you've piqued my interest. What's going to happen if we lose ourselves? Nothing, because you're going to pull yourself together. Just ignore the stressful geometry and stay calm. How? Even if we closed our eyes, you're constantly mm. describing it to us. I'm not going to stop doing my job, so you're just going to have to get better at yours. And quickly, if you don't mind. Yes, take a deep breath. I'm all for getting under his skin, but we'll miss out on loads of fun if we shrivel up into a ball and go insane the first time we see something weird. What you're seeing here is obviously real. Just accept it and go with the flow. It really isn't hard. Okay. Okay, I'm fine. Good. Now, whenever you're ready, we're all waiting for you to complete a very important task. I didn't take the knife again. The door to the basement ah, creaks open, revealing a web of branching staircases all built from unidentifiable materials. Nothing here seems to belong, and the closer you examine your surroundings, the more confused you get, your head throbbing with the effort of making sense of this place. None of the stairs even seem to go anywhere. Little the air here has a sickening, almost sludge-like miasma to it, the kind of indiscernible quality that comes from the blending together of every scent there is at once. An odour that is simultaneously everything, and yet the sum of it all coalescing into a thick, nauseating nothing. If the princess lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favour. Her voice, a disquieting collage of tone and personality, drags up the stairs. Hello? Hi. What are you doing here? Are you here to kill? No. No, thank you. Oh, don't be such a baby. I don't want to do this. Let's just turn around and leave. This feels wrong. This feels like a trap. Like whatever we do, we're gonna leave. die. We don't even have a weapon. But we already tried turning around and leaving, didn't we? And he threw up a wall. No way to go but forward. And whatever choice we make, whatever she is, we know one thing for sure. And what's that? That the fate of the world hinges on your success? There'll still be plenty of ways to ruin his day. You step onto the centre staircase. Paths wind out around you in all directions, each step branching into its own staircases, which branch into their own staircases, and so on. You aren't quite sure if yours is taking you up or down, but at the very least, it's taking you somewhere. You concentrate on where you are, careful not to stray onto any of the many splitting branches that tempt you on all sides. You wouldn't want to have to backtrack to yours once you'd made a decision that took you someplace else. And so you take one careful, focused step after another. One foot down, another foot down, another after that. You lose your but no matter the direction it goes, it certainly is the most true path. You know that much. You slowly lose sense of yourself the further you go. Time disappears and you can feel yourself begin to untether. Physical sensations dull and then vanish, until the only things experienced are the endless repeating patterns and emotions of the journey, a continuous march forward to a destination long forgotten. Consumption and betrayal, skepticism and blind devotion, rivalry and submission, terror and longing, pain, and unfamiliarity. Can I help you? What? What the hell was that? What happened to us? 
I feel so strange. Like I'm fundamentally different, but also still the same person I was at the top of the stairs. Oh well, that was a trip, but now it's over. Time to get back to our old devilish ways. The princess, eyes bright but otherwise shrouded in darkness, watches you impatiently from the other side of the basement. Don't forget why you're here. And uh, why are we here again? In case you weren't listening, I'm afraid I lost myself on the way down. <sighs> you're here to... He's just being an ass, we remember. Though I'm still not sure if we should trust you. Let's talk to her for a bit, try and get our bearings. She seems... normal. Princess. You can call me Princess, if you'd like. As the princess speaks again, it's almost as if she fractures. And where there was once just one of her, there is now another. We can do that? I don't like this. It's those cabins all over again. Can, can we put her back? Again? Have you been here before? Should we tell him? Nah, let him stew. Right, I'm telling him. Yeah, we've been here before, but we never went to the cabin. We just turned around and left. Until... Until? It's hard to describe. Until the only thing we could see was the same cabin going on forever. And then you told us that the world ended and we died. And then we woke up and I'm pretty sure you're familiar with all the rest of it. It seems to me like you saw something you weren't supposed to have seen. If only you'd listened to whatever words of wisdom you were given in that other reality. But what's done is done, isn't it? Whatever you saw last time, unsee it. Whatever thoughts weaseled their way into your head, unthink them. If it's not already too late. You have a job to do here and you need to do it now. Oh, new plan. Let's see if we can make even more of her. There must be something wrong with you. I'm the same as I was a moment ago. And what's that supposed to mean? Are you trying to get under my skin? She fractures again. I don't like where this is going. Neither do I. Which is why you need to slay her now before things get more complicated than they already are. How would we even do that? Where would we start? We'd always start by retrieving the blade. Can we even leave this place? I don't like thinking about what might happen to us if we have to go back through those well, stairs. Game. Well, that's where the blade is. If you want it, you'll have to go and get it. I don't think we're going to be able to put her back. Kind of hurts to think about it, doesn't it? It's like everything we say just multiplies her. It certainly looks that way, so please, for the love of everything, stop asking her questions and stop stalling. You're obviously just making things worse. For all I know, you locked up down here for a reason. Is this a quiz? If you're here, then surely you know why I'm here. But you know, right? You have to know. You're the only other person I've ever seen. Or at least the only one I can remember. Don't give me false hope. Please just end this already. One way or another, just do it. Okay, this was fun for a bit, but we can't even really interact with her, can we? What's the point of asking questions if all we're going to get is a million answers? Can't even follow what's going on anymore. We need to get out of here. This whole place is making me itch. I don't remember what it was like before I was in this place. Why would I know what happened to you? Oh, I thought they would send something better to deal with me. If the stairs manage to chew you up, I will devour you. Sometimes I feel like I'm being pulled apart too. It's so terrifying down here. But at least now you're not alone. And I'm not alone either. You're not really cut out for this, are you? Why are you even here? We're probably stuck down here forever, aren't we? There's no way. Wait, that's not right. I couldn't pick any of them. Go on. You take a step forward. Your foot lands, but it lands different. You experience a firm footfall, a gentle tread, a confident stride. You can feel yourself rupture, 
the room spins, your perception multiplying in a sickening okay, kaleidoscope as your very self is pulled in Hi, incomprehensibly Royce. many directions. You find the blade suddenly in your hands. All at once you use it to strike at her bindings as you remain upstairs and slay her and leave her to perish. Is this what the end of the world looks like? What an unbearable mess. But this... Well, we can't... Do you not have anything witty to say? I could use a good bit of wit right now. No, I don't, because this isn't fun. How are we supposed to have fun if everything is happening at the same time? It's the same as nothing happening, and nothing is excruciating. Luckily for all of us, nothing and everything doesn't go on forever. The world of the princess collapse in on themselves before it all... ...falls apart? I think he's gone. Oh no. We were never going to salvage this, were we? What, what happened, happened to, us? to us? What are, what we? are we? There are there parts of us that are dead, and others, and the others. They, just they just don't fit. They just don't fit. We can feel them moving around in spaces they, they don't belong. belong. It's, it's all so uncomfortable. Did you do this? Did, did we do this? Can, 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 you, pull can you pull us back apart? Can you fix us? Can you fix us? We should help her. I think we did this. How surprisingly sincere. I didn't actually think our actions had consequences. It's a little late for regret, isn't it? Please, please, please. 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 You'll never know if she hears you. He's gone, memory returns. She's gone? W where did she go? And is that a... This... Yeah, don't look at it. I don't like that thing. This game is mind-fucking. They're gone once again. The mirror always makes them leave. There's a world beyond the endless walls of the long quiet. We're supposed to be there. Do you know what we'll find out there? Rhetorical. I am not rhetorical. I have only known these spaces, and I have known flickers of the lives you've brought me, short and violent and full of passion. But all of those flickers end where the long quiet begins. I'm asking you because I cannot know your mind. Do you know what we'll find out there? There's trees and stars and there are people, I think. At least there are supposed to be people. There is a warmth and sadness in me at the thought of people. Fresh tears on a winter's day. They are not like us. They do not last. Do you think that anything is real out there? Do you think that we're real? We are real. Nothing is an idea that dwells in the absence of something. But nothing cannot exist on its own. And because of that, Nothing can't exist. When you send me back, I'm not alone. There are voices that speak to me. Some of them are me, but one of them is something else. I call him the narrator, and he wants me to kill you. No, their thoughts are quiet. Do you think your narrator lives in the spaces beyond? He does. I don't know why, but I know this for a fact. I am on the cusp of my awakening. Perhaps you are on the cusp of yours. The next time I see you, each of us will finally know what we are. I will be here, waiting for you. And we go again! You're on a path, you're here to slay her.
You make your way up. The interior of the camp. You take the blood. The door to the basement creaks open. Good. You're still listening to reason. You walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the... She's so coldly beautiful. Should we just Is she get really a threat to thing? the world? Focus on the task at hand. And there you are. Are you here to kill me or something? Actually, no, let's talk to her. Then why did you bring a knife with you? How about you drop it? She makes a compelling point. What if we just dropped the... Don't you dare. It's fine. We can decide what we want to do after we talk to her. The blade tumbles out of your trembling hands and drops... Thank you. Maybe now we can just... talk. Against your better judgment, you step forward to speak with the princess face to face. We'll be fine. I don't know what you're hoping to accomplish here, but I can assure you there's no reasoning with her. So here we are. What an awkward start to a relationship. You can't. Don't. I'm guessing you don't have the key then. Well, we can always put that- Her sharp eye. She isn't suggesting what she is. Oh? Have you- You know. Oh shit! Doubt, unfortunately, clouds your thought. A moment of distraction Wrong and button. hesitation is all she needs. It feels like you've been hit with a sledgehammer. You can feel bone <laughs> grinding on bone where your jaw has been fractured. Pussy. Holy shit, that hurts! Though she's unarmed. The shock of that first strike is enough to stagger you, putting it's you okay, and the princess on somewhat equal only. footing. Your blade slashes through the air again and again, and her fists connect with your body as many times or more, each impact as heavy as that first bone-crushing hit. We can still turn this around. You and the princess stare at each other, both gasping for breath, equally exhausted. You probably won't make it out of here alive, but you can at least make sure that she won't make it out of here, either. Excuse me? Do you think this is what I wanted to happen? I have a duty to state the facts of the situation, and honestly, it's a miracle anyone is still standing right now. Can you not feel all those ruptured organs bouncing around in there? If the princess doesn't do our friend in herself, internal bleeding is certain to finish the job. The two of you clash for the final time. F you feel your ribs break as she delivers a heavy blow, but you push through the pain, falling forward and sinking your blade deep into the princess's heart. R.I.P. Oh. And the two of you fall to the floor. This was fun. The princess gasps, her voice an unhealthy rasp as her lungs start to fill with blood. You put up more of a fight than I thought you would. But I have to wonder... Do you really think this is the end? But you don't have time to worry over such things. Everything goes dark, and you die. Chapter 2! You're on a path in the... You're here to slay her. You have already committed to... A war she will lie. lie. Are you the, the prince crit? The cabin is tighter than its exterior would suggest. Its cold stone walls press in on you, as if trying to forcefully direct you towards your destination. The only furniture of note is a black iron altar with a pristine blade perched on its edge. The blade is your implement. That's because there isn't. There's death. There isn't. Oh, sh you all keep saying. I care less about that and more about whether we're being lied to. I'm not lying to you. Use your. No okay. knife this time. As long as you can still get the job done. And don't forget that the blade is waiting for you upstairs if you happen to change your mind. The door to the basement creaks open, 
revealing a rough stone staircase, its walls pressing at your sides and tightening as you descend. The air seeping from below is heavy, and a fierce voice carries up the stairs. Is that another challenger? Finally. It's been ages since I've had a good fight. This isn't what she sounded like last time. Her voice is a little deeper, almost threatening. Good. Sounds like my kind of princess. As much as I appreciate the enthusiasm, just make sure you don't let your bloodlust get to your head. You need to stay focused and keep your wits about you. Remember, you're here to slay the princess, not to have a good fight. As you descend the final step, nah. the form of the princess comes into view. A large shackle leading from her wrist to the basement wall. Looks like she could rip those chains out of the wall without a second thought. Oh, it's you again. I've been hoping you'd find your way back here. Good to see that death doesn't stick for either of us. So we're both in a way immortal but no beings. Little knife this time, huh? No. I hope you're not just here to chat. I've been itching for a rematch. I do want to free her now. Free her? You want? I don't know why I'm even bothering, to be honest. You know the stakes of the situation. Who says I want to be free? Oh. I want the two of us to fight to the death. I want to feel your knife split my flesh. And I want to hear your bones snap beneath my fists. Is that really too much to ask? Yeah. Especially <gasps> that last part. Don't be such a coward. I'm just being cautious. If it comes to violence, we can find a way to deal with her that doesn't involve throwing our life away. I'd rather not die again, and I find it deeply disturbing that you seem to relish the thought of it. Because it doesn't matter if we die again. It'll just be another opportunity to have the fight of our life. We don't know that for sure, and I'd rather not bet on it. Let's right. fight with her. Fine. If you're not going to address it, I will. What? You've already met the princess, the princess has already met you, and the two of you killed each other. Did you think you'd be able to just openly talk about all that without me noticing? Maybe. You did seem to just gloss over the whole thing for a while. Of course I glossed over it. When a colleague says something insane, glossing over it is one of the best ways to stay focused and keep moving forward. You don't know. Whatever brought the two of you back to life isn't a fluke. And beyond that, do you know who doesn't remember anything that happened last time? Me. I don't remember. Uh, are you okay? Of course I'm not okay. As far as we're all concerned, the fate of my world is still very much on the line. Not all of us have the luxury of jumping over to a parallel universe the second we die. Great. Now focus up and do it then. Then why are you just standing there? Fight me. Okay, let's fight her. I guess we'll have to see how this goes. Your hands empty. You charge the princess. Quit the pessimism, will you? Right? It's almost like you don't want us to beat her. No, look, I'm rooting for you. I really am. I'm just doing my best to keep my expectations grounded. You don't have a weapon. You're supposed to have a weapon. We'll be fine. Just watch. You attack, fists raised, and the two of you fall into combat. Your clawed fingers tear into her flesh, and her fists and elbows return the blows in kind, bruises blossoming in her wake, and blood vessels rupturing in vivid sprays of gore. Not bad. You're tougher than I thought you'd be. Hear that? She respects us. We can pull this off. Yeah. Yeah. You're right. But without that knife, you'll never be enough. Her knee connects with your sternum Ouch. with a loud, violent crack. The wind leaves your lungs and as you struggle for breath, 
You can feel something flooding in to fill the space. You have to want to kill me. Like this. You don't so much as see her movement before she deals the killing blow. Everything goes dark, and you die. F. Uh, are you serious? Well, that's it? That's it. Like hell it is. We're not giving up that easy. Now get up. Didn't you hear me? You're dead. There's no getting up from that. Wait, no, that's not right. You're not dead anymore. Yes. Your eyes bolt open and you push yourself back to your feet. You're alive. The princess takes a step back and looks down at her pulp-covered fists. I could have sworn I killed you. That's your face splattered on the walls and dripping from my hands. Maybe this will be a good fight after all. The two of you clash once more. It's not as one-sided as I feared, but it's still a far cry from what I'd hoped. Her injuries, though numerous, pale in comparison to yours, and the wounds you've inflicted upon her barely seem to have slowed her down. Yeah, this game is not over. This is getting boring. Are you even trying to keep up with me? She lands another devastating... No. Lethal blow. Everything goes dark. Again. You know what I'm going through. That we're not... Yeah. That we're not dead. Are you sure she can't do what we're doing right? There's only one way. Once more, you push yourself back to your mangled feet. How, how are you still moving? How are you still doing anything? Bodies aren't supposed to look like that. An uncharacteristic terror seems to grip her voice. Have we ever seen her afraid before? No, we haven't. This is how we win. We can do this forever. I'm going to put you out of your misery. I don't like looking at you like this. You're all twitching and wrong. I'd like to see her try. We're invincible. Her fist flies towards where your face used to be, your twisted body incapable of moving out of the way. And then you see nothing. Everything goes dark and we die. Yes, something like that. Well, don't you have something to say? Yeah, I quit. <laughs> what? Wait, what? You're on a path in the woods, and at the end of that path... All right, change of plans. We're taking the blade this time. Now, why would we ever do that? Because she absolutely destroyed us? She sure did. But what a great way to go. Does it matter? We lost. Oh, why so glum rage, boy? I thought you were brave. I thought you were proud. Was all that bravado just hot air? Look, it was just... The fight was better the first time. And the first time, we had a weapon. Well, this is just great. <sighs> Let me cut to the chase. Yeah, you think? What does here even mean, though? You've told us about the path of the princess and all of that already. That's a good point. Everything here is a little... off. Yes, precisely. And if you'd given me two seconds to finish my thought, I would have said that. Oh, you're actually letting me talk now. Great. If you've already been here, it means you've seen things you aren't supposed to have seen and you know things that you aren't supposed to know. This doesn't look like a path in the woods if reality seems distorted. So you knew this could happen. You knew we'd be able to restart like this. <sighs> Look, if the world around you is changing, especially all the way out here, then that means you're nearing the point of no return. Whatever happens next, that's it. There won't be any more do-overs. It's good. We're all on the same page. It isn't long before you find yourself at the end of the path, staring up at the cabin on the hill. You'll find the princess within. That's it? No final words of advice? I'd rather not waste any more time. I'm sure that any advice I'd give at this point is something you've already heard. Don't be so hard on yourself. We all wind up in creative ruts now and then. I'm sure if you put your mind to it, you could think of something worth telling us. The interior of the cabin is a place that feels long forgotten. 
there was once an elegance to its construction. Carved marble columns holding a high arched roof, vaulted windows letting in the weak starlight. But that is how it was. Now there is a growth that has overtaken it. A viscous fluid seeps from cracks in the stone walls, and it congeals into chaotic streaks of writhing nerves and wet clumps of living meat. That's horrible. I think it's kind of nice. Makes the room feel alive, doesn't it? The only furniture of note is a pulsating pedestal. A pristine blade perched on its edge. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. We'll need it if we want to do things right. I say we leave it to rust. Let's not make the same mistake twice. We could have won if we had it last time. Take it. You take the blade from the pedestal. It would be difficult to slay the princess and save the world without a weapon. Good. Nothing feels better than gripping cold steel. That's no fun. And you're not even holding it right. Oh. And how do you suggest we hold it? The other way. Shh. A mirror. The pedestal and the door to the basement. Yeah, we've done all this already. I don't know what to tell you. There isn't a mirror because I wouldn't know if there was a mirror. Why does it keep what are you trying to say? It means it's in. You step forward and approach the door to the basement, hesitating before you open it. Spit. Why? What? What? Are you still on about that mirror? It's not real. I'd know about it if it were real. No, we can't bow our eyes like that. It has to be real. It doesn't matter if it's actually. Let's just smash it. You won't be able to do whatever you want with it. The mirror isn't real. You bring your fist crashing down against the door lead. As if on command, it slowly slides open, scraping against the stone floor, its ancient hinges moaning as it reveals the dim path ahead. Why am I not surprised? You step forward into the darkness. The stairs leading down to the basement are at once both narrow and grandiose. A high vaulted ceiling stretches up into a gloom beyond your sight while walls wet with tumorous growths press in uncomfortably at your sides. You feel both unprotected and trapped. At one, the air is thick, its odor an oppressive violence. The metallic scent of fresh blood twisting with the nauseating embers of charred remains. If the princess lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. Her voice, a bellow. So you've returned. Do you intend to weakly claw your fingers across my skin? Or have you finally decided to try and kill me properly? I think you'll find it won't be so simple. I've changed. The way your flesh felt grinding beneath my fist, it woke something in me. That wasn't a fight. It was something worse. I'm something worse now. Why don't you, Do you hear that? Well, sounds like we got to her last time. Let's keep pushing, see what else we can make happen. You make your way to the bottom of the stairs. The chamber's walls Holy are painted shit. in blood, a deep, sickening red that drips down in clotted streams onto the charred corpses that make up its floor. This place reeks of torment, of ripped skin and burning bone. The princess stands in its center, Muscles flayed and bare and weeping, draped in a tattered dress of her own skin. Her heart beats from its place in her open chest. Do you know what I'm going to do to you? There's not so much a moment of hesitation before she steps forward. Her chains pull taut, holding fast as she strains against them. The cuff around her wrist digs deeper into her skin. Blood drips from the place where metal meets flesh. Then. With a nauseating sound, the skin tears. It plops to the ground. She pulls her red, glistening arm free from her bindings. She is loose, and she is coming for you. She wants us to be afraid, because she wants us to think she can make us suffer. That's right, no fear. She's bigger than the last time, but she's pulling herself apart. She's 
practically done most of the work for us. You'll try. And that's what I've been so excited for. Your heart free of fear. You charge towards the princess. Your eyes locked on each other. Both of you prepared to lay down your very essence in one blow. It's now or never. Let's make it a beautiful blaze of glory. With a horrifying squelch, you are unwound. Oh. I hope you weren't planning on dying. We're going to make this last forever. Huh. I feel cold. I've never felt cold before. Oh, the hands. True to her word, you do not die by her hand, nor will you ever. It's time for you to leave. Memory She's returns. She's gone. And there's that. This. Yeah, don't look at it. I. Screw the mirror. Are nothing at all. But this isn't right. You can't be nothing. You refocus your gaze and then you see it. A figure, faint and veiled in a shadow, just beyond the reflection. I think you know what I am. The narrator. Yes. I suppose that's my job, isn't it? You needed help, after all. An objective voice to guide your blade. But you were never supposed to see me. I wonder how many worlds you've damned to extinction to fall this far. What are you? Are you something oh, I'm like nothing me? like you. I'm an echo. Likely one of many. Somebody made you, after all, and I'm what's left of him. Not that I'm the only one who can make that claim. I'm sure you've met many others like me. Others like you? You've said something like that before. Of course. That is by both necessity and design. This construct you're in exists in many places at once. Any time you failed, any time you thought yourself dead, it would restart and shunt both your consciousness and hers into another world. But you'll be awake soon. And then it won't be able to work like that anymore. Do you have anything to say for yourself for all of this hubris? I do. The people out there are real. No matter what you do to them, no matter what you enable, I want you to remember that. After everything you've done to us, do you think anyone deserves to live? Nobody alive has done anything to you. I'm all gone. But if you and the princess want to smite the rest of them for the crimes of a dead man, if you really want to be that petty, there isn't much I can do to stop you. Then that's ask them fun. and make it quick. I won't. Oh my god, that's actually so many questions. Does it hurt when pieces of you break like that? It doesn't hurt. I don't feel pain. <coughs> Not <coughs> physically. I'm sorry. We've already crossed the point of no return. There's no saving me now. Not that there's ever been much of me to save. Ah. Soon I'll be gone entirely. And you'll be left alone with your final choice. So allow me to make my final request. The princess contains death itself within her. But I wove you into being with all the power you need to destroy her forever. Do it. Slay her, and rid the world of death and suffering. Every time I ask you, it's like a piece of your Are you a part of me? Are you something else? Made me, what am I? You wasn't supposed to see this, right? You were yeah. either going to have seen all this, or you weren't going to have seen all this. This is worse, but you still have an opportunity to save the world. You can still slay her.
so I am. It's like I said, I'm just an echo. And echoes always fade away. You know what you have to do. Goodbye. As the final fragment of the glass shatters, you see yourself with newfound clarity. You are the long quiet, a vast and nascent god, and it is finally time for you to wake up. All of this is you. What the fuck? You arrive at the heart of things. There is no final vessel for you to bear witness to. There is nothing for you to find. I can finally see you. It's been so long, and my heart has ached for this moment. I've missed you dearly. She unfurls and endless. His cat of smiles and responds and impatiently waits for you to continue. Names are their attempts to capture that which cannot be captured. They call me the Shifting Mound, a pale imitation of what I actually am. Every word you spoke found its way to me. I know him, and I know his construct. He was deluded by his fear of death. Pay him no mind. Ever the passive player, always reacting and never acting. But it's woven into your nature, isn't it? When the Echo spun us from one into two, he gave you a choice and me a role to play. I am not death, but I contain it in my multitudes. So, will you attempt to destroy me and bring about a world devoid of death and the possibility of meaning? Or, will you open the final doors to our liberation? I will destroy the world with us. If you're saying that, it's because you don't yet understand. But we cannot use words alone to grasp at things that words cannot express. And you cannot rationalize with logic that which defies it. Violence and passion are dances that both of us know well. If this is what it takes to enlighten you, then so be it. Is a person? Is it their body? Is it all of their body? Pluck the eyes, peel the skin, strip the tendons, mince the meat, grind the bones. When it is all gone, do you still have who you started with? A person is not a body. Death is a transformation into something new. It is only bodies that feel it. But violence has defined the form of everything between us. Do not deny what we are, and do not color our conflict with fear. There is no there beginning, is no there, there is no end, and there is no there's end. only the flood of there bodies. There is only the flood of bodies. In every moment, you hold every possible sensation at once, and then you hold them all again. Sensation at once, and then you hold them all again. But in the end, but you were left in battle for a brief, for a brief moment. moment. Both of us were everything. We can be everything again. We can be the beautiful and endless song.
The majesty of being extends beyond any single perspective. Your letter tries to sink into your body, and another, and another, and another. Do I miss your heart because I can't stand to see it go? But the stakes meant nothing to you. You had a desire, and you set that desire free. You lifting me, and me lifting you. Forever and ever and ever. Consumed by true belief, there was nothing that could hold us back. at my side, you gladly became the instrument of my new creation. Only with both of us is there a future to look towards. It is hope that helps me to be I reject the narrow view of impermanence. I cling to nothing. There is no better us for us to be than us. We are reality itself. There are few things more terrifying than one's own heart. And there is almost nothing more terrifying than sharing it with another. But the most terrifying thing of all is to leave one's heart unshared. You are the only thing like me. And I am the only thing like you. Could you bear the weight of an eternity alone? Do you dare to shape a reality of what solitude the fuck is this game? and thrust it on creation? Um, you speak about light of death. Continue. You claim your destruction would steal meaning from existence. But if my actions can make existence worse, then there must be actions to make it better. Affections imply finality and nothing is fine. There has never been finality. There is only the unending transformation of my multitudes. But to destroy me is to bring everything to a stop. It is only then that you will have an ending. And that ending is nothingness. As the clash between you and base, the princess withdraws, trembling. You are unmovable. Is it by the design of our conflict that I cannot win? Or are you just that fervent in how you cling to delusion? Nothing is immutable. Everything that is exists only in relation to everything it isn't. There is no constant. There is no center. Oh, this is so beautiful, this artwork. Holy shit, Open I'm your obsessed. Eyes and accept what we are. We can leave this prison together. you told me that mirror was going to kill me, I'm genuinely surprised you missed me. But we don't have to get into all that. I'm here now. That's what matters. Seems like you've been doing alright on your own, but she's too many things at once out here. If you want to get through to her, you need some way to get past all that divine confidence. There's still a piece of me nestled close to where it all began. I can take you there. I can take you to her heart. It's time to resume our dance. She's relentless, isn't she? 
Let's make this quick. Are you ready? Then let's go. And here we are. I'd say we were back where it all started, but I guess it's a little after that, isn't it? Do you need me to describe things? That's probably for the best. It's always seemed to give us more options than not. The stairs. Do you remember the first time we were here? The first time we heard her voice? Have you figured out what you want to do yet? Or are you going to keep trying to find a center that doesn't exist? It sounded just like that. A little sharp, a little menacing. Only she didn't know us. And down we go. We shouldn't keep her waiting. And there you are, knife in hand. It really brings me back. Have you given up on talking? Have you finally decided to kill me? You'll have all of eternity to yourself after this. Why don't we chat a little before I go? So this is it, then. Let's see this through. So, that's how it is. Whatever world you want to build without me, I hope it works out. Despite our differences, I've always loved you, and I wish you nothing but the best. Well, fuck. Ah, whatever actions brought you and the princess into being was rough and jagged and left each one of you with a piece of the other. By destroying her once and for all, you destroyed a part of yourself. But the world has an ending. Things continue she's on. She's gone. And I don't think she's coming back. Is that a metaphor or are you being literal? Doesn't matter, we don't need to linger down here anymore. Let's get going. And then you leave the cabin itself. It's quiet here. <sighs> the body of an ancient creature stirs from its hibernation and you feel sensation in your leaves limbs you once couldn't fathom. Everything here is you. Hi, FX. You feel your wings spanning a cosmic scale, but twisted and crumpled and bound in agonizing tension to a finite place. No, 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 it's a visual novel. You can feel the glass of a construct pressing in on you, confining you across infinite sides and infinite angles. You push back and strain against it. But it does not yield. He's gone. She's gone. No one is left to trap us here but us. And then the shattering, you're free. And before you lie in the endless expanse of absolute reality, a new absolute reality and forged by your will and by a long and arduous cycle of bloodshed that has stained your hands countless times over. There will be no more bloodshed in this new world. We didn't forget what you told us. You thought we'd be gone. Thought you could taunt us with death. We never left. We've just been quiet, hiding somewhere else. But we don't need to be quiet any longer. We're the house now. We get to make the rules. And I'm not sure you'll like those new rules. You should never make assumptions about things you don't know. Like whether or not the voices in your head will be gone for good. Torturer. And to think I thought we could rely on you. Can't even trust ourselves. This is going to be fun, isn't it? Well, fuck. Slaying our beloved and threatening us with damnation. There's no 
good ending for you. You all need to lighten up. Telling us we were going to die was funny. I'm not sure they agree with you. Voices get around. Knives out, boys. It's time to get to work. I love this, by the way. <sighs> oh, I can't do this here. Wait a minute. This game was the most mind-fucking thing I've ever played in my life. And I'll tell you why, okay? Also, because this game has 97 achievements. I have only done 19 so far. Only 19. So imagine all the stuff possible in this game. Holy shit, this game was insane. So good. Yay, cards. Oh my god, 8 rupees ka card. Let me go sell it, by the way. Good evening, Delhi Aid. It's not just morality, it questions. Fucking questions everything. Insane game. I really enjoyed it. No, I don't remember you. <sighs> Damn. Yeah. And to think there is also so much more I could probably do. It's just so fucking weird, this game. There's just so much going on. Oh, by the way, Shubham, can you change the link of Discord to the one I have in my description right now? Because this one apparently doesn't work for people, right? Ah. What a game. I think... It's only been three hours, though. We could probably do something else. Like maybe play some Warzone. What do you say? Man, but khana khana hai. Bhook lag rahi hai. Be right back. We'll play some Warzone in a bit. Never mind, I'm here. Apparently, we've kind of hired like a cook because my mom can't cook anymore. So he's cooking something right now. I hope he actually cooks though. <sighs> All right. Uh, One second, I'll just change my title. Horizon now. Save. <coughs> Sorry. 
Do I even want to play this game though? Hmm? खेल लेते थोड़ा देखते हैं यार यू नो व्हाट फक इट नहीं खेलना है वर्जन मुझे फक दिस गेम आई डोंट वांट टू प्ले इट ऑल टेक फॉर कर रही हूँ बट नहीं हो रहा है दिस इज़ द स्टेट Sorry, I'm just gonna head off. I don't care if it's only been three hours. I guess what I can do is I can probably go and work on my videos because I do have a lot of work to do. Kya game thi? Yar, maza aagya. But let me uninstall. Or it not private? Uninstall. Yes. Abi. इसका तो मैं रिव्यू नहीं बनाने वाली बट आई विल इंक्लूड इट इन लाइक वन ऑफ माय फ्यूचर वीडियोस वन एवर आई मेक वन वेयर आई एम लाइक टॉकिंग अबाउट लाइक मल्टीपल गेम्स और समथिंग बिकॉज आई रियली रियली डिड लाइक दिस वन इट्स प्रीटी गुड बट फॉर नाउ आई एम गन हेड ऑफ आई विल सी यू ऑल टमोरो बाई सिया हैव फन टेक केयर